Well, when you were 14 in the first half, where do you think this one got away from you? Uh, Rashawn Dwight got a second foul, and we went to the bench, and we kind of lost the momentum right there. We put in a kid, uh, Jamel Jenkins, who hadn't practiced in a couple of days, probably a, you know, made me a mistake by myself by putting him in ahead of some other guys. But he had been through it before. I thought we'd get something out of him. He just wasn't ready in the first half to give us anything. And came in nervous and looked like he hadn't pl played in a few days, and we lost our steam right there. Has he been hurt or sick? Yeah, he injured himself. He injured his neck uh, three days ago. Glover didn't miss a shot, but he only got seven shot attempts. Did he have to get the ball more than Absolutely. he did? Absolutely. He needs to get it more, but I'm going to tell you, they did a great job of concentrating on throwing a second guy at him all the time. And, you know, again, our guards have to knock down some shots. You can't shoot as poorly as we did and expect to beat a team like this. Comments on the game Rossiter had? Played great. Pretty you know, yeah, he, he played better than I thought. We didn't defend him the way we had practiced defending. We had a lot of breakdowns, but I just give him credit for making big plays when you needed him. He's a fundamentally sound kid. He doesn't do anything fancy, but he works every possession. He knows how to get himself open. Uh, the teammates do a nice job of finding him. Uh, they really do a good job of entry passes to him, and he finishes off those shots well. And that's what he did. Seven for 31 from three. Did you generally like the looks you were getting from three point? Right? Yeah, the looks weren't bad. Yeah. We just didn't make them. I mean, I, th I thought those were looks that you know we will take. We shouldn't have taken that many. We have to adjust if we're not making them to do other things. I thought we could have gotten a lot of pull ups. We took a few late and made them, and then we went right back again. And you know, I think the guys, the guards on your team, overextended a little bit, and we could have gotten that lane better. And I think we just settled a little bit too much. Um, and when you play a lot of guards and play a fast paced game, that can happen to you. Uh, Bad night for it to happen to us. Is it a disappointing to not get a kind of an early statement victory against a team that's won the league Absolutely. three years in a row? Absolutely, because I think we were ready to do that, and I think they were ready for to be beaten tonight, um, especially the way the game started. Um, but you know what? Credit to them, they fought back. But that's what teams that have been there and have won do. You know, they don't fold when when they get down by 12, 14, whatever it was. And our guys, you know, still I think at this point they have to believe that they can win these games, but. We have to do the little things better. We didn't execute the little things. We didn't deserve to win the game. Is there anything you would have wished your team would have done when you're up 14? Or I mean, is there just so much time left in the game? Oh, there's so much time left in the game. The game is in its infancy, and you know you're gonna have runs. We know they're a good team, and they're gonna go on their runs. And, uh, we didn't. We didn't expect to walk in here and win the game big. We expected that we'd have a good chance to win it late in the game, and we did have a chance late in the game. We're up one. They have the ball with two fouls to give. We instructed our guys to look to give a foul if they start penetration instead of getting it early. We wait for Rossi to turn the shoot. We give him one. And now you're in the hole. And then, you know, even late, we had a chance to make a layup with a cut at the two, and we miss a layup with no one guarding us. So, uh, and you got to make plays. Was that was that the play? Was Jamel supposed to attack? Yes. Because okay. we knew it was a two-possession game, and we knew they weren't going to, they weren't, wouldn't foul us going to the rim. So I said, just attack. We'll have enough time to get our defense set up and make them now shoot another two shots. Maybe they make one out of two, and now it's a one-possession game. Right. With the, you know, Rossiter is going to get his, but with Clarence Jackson, our number two scorer, out, right. does it make it more difficult for you in terms of your game plan? And wondering, you know, what's going to be their emphasis and where the pressure is going to be coming from? Well, you know, we, we looked at enough film. We saw other guys in different, different games making plays for them. I think there, there are other forwards that have been really good job today of making plays late in the shot clocks, you know, a couple that they threw in. Yeah, I think you're a 50, I don't know, you're not a great foul shooting team, but tonight you were 17 for 18. So guys who maybe shot 30% were swishing. So, you know, that's that's what good teams do when they need to do it. And you were a very good team tonight. How are you, Tom? Thank you, Thanks,